what's going on guys so today i figured i would show you guys something a little different so one of my first videos if you guys are like long term uh subscribers to my youtube channel i made this So what you just saw right there, that was the first Tesla coil that I ever put together. I put it together for my freshman year science fair project. And um, yeah, from that point on, like I had a passion for Tesla coils and everything like that. And then I eventually made this Tesla coil. So that Tesla coil was uh, pretty much a mini musical Tesla coil. So that one was able to output around two to three foot arcs, but I wanted to create something bigger than that. Today, I'm gonna be putting together a five to six foot arc dual resident um, singing Tesla coil. So um, yeah, so overall here's the schematic right here. It looks confusing, but once you actually get the components in front of you and you can like visualize everything, you can actually start to see how everything works and how everything comes together. So let's start with the heart of the Tesla coil and that is the controller. So I ended up coming across a company. It's called Eastern Voltage Research. And um, everything's made in the USA, which is great and everything like that. But they seem like they are the cheapest company to make musical Tesla coils. Now. You can buy these already pre-built like this, the Plasma Sonic Tesla coil that they have here. But I mean, what's the fun in that? You just get it, you turn it on and everything like that. You won't really know and understand how it works. So I have like this model that you should build stuff and then you could actually call it yours. So actually the microcontroller, what this is doing is it, it's controlling this right here, which is an IGBT. I have one right here. This IGBT, I don't want to take it out of the anti-static bag, but he is able to switch off the voltage at different frequencies. So for example, over here, here's the primary capacitor bank. It's sending a surge of electricity through these at certain amounts of times that come out of the um, IGBT and switches on and off, kind of like a like a relay switch, if you want to think of it like that. But anyways, it's able to switch everything off at different frequencies, and then send that voltage through a primary coil, which is like it's, as you can see here. So this primary coil is then making an electromagnetic field around the secondary coil, which is right here. As you can see right here, though, there's nothing in between. It's called an air core transformer. And this was one of Tesla's great inventions. It's essentially stepping up voltage from the outlet over here. It's taking 120 volts, say, for the US and converting it to over here to around 500,000 volts. And it's producing it into um, arcs that are five to six feet long. A musical Tesla coil, you're able to essentially make music because due to the microcontroller and the IGBT. Now moving on away from the schematic, the first part of this video I'm going to start putting together the primary capacitor bank, which is right here. So in total, this company, if you order the kit from them, they send you eight capacitors. They have a schematic right here. So they send you eight capacitors, right? Each one's rated at 2000 volts and 0.47 microfarads. So what you want to do, you want to put four of them in series and then put four more in series and then connect those into parallel. And then in total, you'll get 8,000 volts of 0.2 microfarads, which is gonna be the sweet spot for this Tesla coil. Now, just for safety, um, I'm adding these 10 meg ohm bleeding resistors for the, the capacitors so that they're able to discharge. So if anybody was to ever go touch it, they won't electrocute themselves. So as you can see here, here are the eight capacitors. along with this board that Eastern Voltage Research will provide to you if you go to their website and you pretty much just solder all these capacitors into series everything's pretty much just laid out for you and then um, on the other side you would just attach all the, the resistors so I'm gonna put this together and I'll show you how I do that okay so in case if you guys are wondering why are there all holes on the back of it like this well 
the, um, the engineers at Eastern Voltage Research pretty much knew that these capacitors actually heat up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, it's called a muffin fan, it just runs off 120 volts, just mount it on the back of it and then that turbulence from the wind is just going to blow from the back of it through these holes and cool these capacitors. So moving away from that, now what you're going to want to do is I just like to pre-bend the leads on the ends of the capacitors and then all you got to do is just hook them up like this. Just pretty much drop them all in there and then it'll click in and then eventually once you have them all in there you just solder all these points and then we'll add the resistors after so i'm gonna put all these in so here we go we have them all laid in there and um once you get them in, into the position that you want i kind of like to just bend them off to the side so that they hold the position so i'm all about like presentation as you can see from Megamind, I think everything should look pretty badass. So I'm trying to line all these up so that everything looks really nice. Once I line all this up, I'm going to come back and then I'm going to pretty much just solder everything. Actually, the next thing that I'm going to show you is pretty much adding the resistors to the back. So essentially, all you got to do is pretty much just hold them like that, as you can see here, directly across from each capacitor, just like this, and then just solder them into the... You don't have to worry about um, the direction because resistors are blind polarity in a circuit. So um, yeah, everything will be all set. But I'm just going to organize everything and make everything look really neat. As you can see here, I have everything all soldered in place. All the resistors are all there, and as well as all the capacitors. So now that the primary capacitor bank is all set, now we can move on to a new component. So the next thing that I'm going to start to put together is the gate drive transformer. Essentially what this gate drive transformer does is it pretty much picks up the signals that are coming from the microcontroller. So as you can see here, this positive and negative from the uh, microcontroller comes around and goes to the gate drive transformer. And then it goes into this gate drive board, which picks up the signal from that transformer and tells this IGBT to go on and off at different frequencies so that you can uh, hear the Tesla coil at different frequencies as too. So um, I went ahead and already kind of put it together so as you can see this is what it looks like all you pretty much want to do is follow this schematic so the 12t that pretty much just stands for 12 turns in three different areas so that three different areas are just these three different um wires also another thing that you have to think about is um as you can see over here it says something about it being out of phase so as you can see here, I kind of just marked these. I'm going to make this blue one, this blue cable is going to go from the left side of the gate drive transformer. And that's going to connect to the microcontroller, as you can see here. And when you take that, this one will be positive, And then the bottom one will be negative. And then you have to do the reverse with the other ones. As you can see, this orange one will be positive. And then this red one will be negative. You have to do the same thing on the bottom. Just do everything opposite. Once you have that done, you can move on to the gate drive board. Now this gate drive board takes that those signals and then sends it to the IGBT, as you can see here, like I already explained. Now I went ahead and uh, started to just pre-bend everything and then put them inside that location. This board is also available on uh, that website as well. 
one thing that you have to think about is that these diodes right here, they are directional and thankfully they label it on their PCB so that it could be easy for the consumer to build this on their own. So all you have to do is pretty much just follow these. As you can see, there's a line right here to the right where it says CR2. That is cathode. So you just need to match that line with the line on the diode itself. And then these right here are pretty much bi-directional, so you don't that those don't matter. And even if you look at it, there's also two lines, as you can see right there at the top. So yeah, I'm gonna get this all soldered together. And boom, there we go. My gate drive board is all set. As you can see, everything's all soldered down. As well as these leads that came with the kit as well. So this concludes part one of, of our Let's Build a Musical Tesla Coil video. So yeah, we went over quite a bit of parts. So overall, we went through the gate drive board, the gate drive transformer, and the primary capacitor bank. So the next part of the video, I'm going to be pretty much making the base for everything to mount to. So once I do that, then we can start mounting everything like the DZ bus capacitors, transformer for the microcontroller, the IGBTs, and then, um, yeah, that's all other stuff too. We can go over that in the next video too. So yeah, comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know if um, this video will help you guys out.